Hey, what's going on, my little ponies? I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the GBA. In the previous episode, we made our way here to the third floor in Jokes End after completing the maze in Jokes End. So today, we are going to be completing the rest of Jokes End by taking on too many bosses and hopefully delivering the bean star to Bowletta and Fawful. So before we begin, do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. Let's try to get this video to over 500 likes. I think that would be awesome. And make sure you guys also answer the comment question of today, which should appear on the the screen right about now take a minute out of your day to answer that question for me i would really appreciate it anyways as you can see we were making our way up these stairs in the last episode but we ran out of time so i decided to hold it off until uh the next episode which is this one and as you can see there are a couple of uh lit candles here i guess they're trying to set the mood for something romantic that's about to happen nothing romantic is about to happen but we are like at the end of the game like i'm actually very excited about this because i do remember all of this part like vividly and uh it's like we're literally there i mean granted it's gonna take us a couple of hours to actually beat the game but like we are there the end is near but i think by the time we are at the end of the game taking on the final bosses we'll have like I don't know, I want to say we'll be both level 35 each. I'm kind of hoping we'll be higher level than that. Uh, but right now, I'm actually going to focus on increasing my attack points with both Mario and Luigi. Just because I want to make sure they're as tanky as possible, or at least it's very, very strong. Uh, some people might find that cheap. But you know what? I really don't care because it is my let's play and I'm going to do what I want. Anyways, let's go ahead. See, I want to be able to kill these clumps in just one hit. That is like the dream. I want to be able to attack them with Mario and Luigi and be able to do like 200 damage on them. I mean, granted, I possibly, I probably could if I ate like a red pepper because that uh, increases your power significantly. The only downside about that is uh, it, it just makes you very, very heavy. So trying to do a jump dodge like that will actually be, uh, will be very difficult just because like whoever you give it to will actually gain a lot of weight. It just adds that weight factor to it. You can't have, like, something very good and not have, like, a con that comes with it. All right, there we go. So it just takes some two hits with the bros, and I think these guys should die in, like, one attack. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. These guys are pretty weak. Actually, you know what? I believe I can actually kill them with just jumping alone, but I'm not even going to attempt to do that. You know why? Because I don't want to. I don't want to waste any more time. Just on the off chance it doesn't actually kill them. All right, let me see. Uh, I want to actually heal these two idiot. Wow, they have n they don't even have that much like HP. Hmm. For some reason, I thought these guys would be higher level. I mean, they'd have more HP, but that's not the case. Oh no! All right, these guys apparently hit me, so now we're gonna have to deal with him. I'm gonna hit this guy first. Oh, why am I attacking them with bros attacks? I could literally just burn their hair off. You know, I completely forgot about that. I literally played this game yesterday, and I was doing that all day, and I completely forgot that I can burn their hair off. Alright, you know, I'm gonna just take care of one of these guys with Luigi, Luingus, and then the next guy we're gonna just kill with Mario. Nope, we're not gonna do bros. I wonder... Yeah, the, pro the, the, the fire bros attack would probably also kill them. Burn, yes! Get out of here, you scrub. Alright, this guy's charging up a big one. There we go, we dodged that. I'm gonna try my best to dodge all these attacks. Oh, there we go. Alright, let me actually kill this guy. Nope, I'm gonna kill this trooper. Oh, wait, why am I doing bros attacks on this guy? I really don't know. Uh, let me see. Let me just use hand. YOLO swag. There we go. Goodbye, clump. He's dead. He's gone. He is gone. We're, we're golden. Oh, this guy is... Oh, man. I wanted to hit him really badly, but, you know, unfortunately, I couldn't. Just because they got in the way. All right, let's go ahead and burn this clump off. Ugh! Come on, I didn't burn him! I wasted a turn trying to burn him. There we go. Dodge these guys. Uh, they can get somewhat redundant, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I really don't like battling these guys just because, you know, we're at that point in the game where they don't really give us that much EXP points. Even though they're, like, I don't know, they do take quite some time to kill. But for some reason, we don't get that, like, extra EXP points that we probably should be getting in terms of, like, defeating these guys because, I don't know, I really don't know. Maybe the game just think that we're kind of overleveled at this point. Maybe, maybe not. No idea. But I think if you miss, like, your first attack, like, burning his hair, you're not actually going to end up doing it. Wow, you attack twice? I don't even know you little fluffy ice sniffs could do that. Yeah, there we go. We killed him with our hand. We didn't actually need to burn his hair off. Oh, you're going to attack me? 
There we go. And we're just going to use jump. Oh, wow. These actually have somewhat of a large HP. Holy crap. Woo! All right. It's like, what? We're five, six minutes into the video and we're still battling enemies. That is kind of silly. I don't think at this rate we're going to make it to any bosses by the end of the episode. All right. So uh, there is a nice little uh, thing here where we need to just light up because that will actually light up the oil. I guess it will boil the oil uh, right there. I guess that's why I really don't know what that is. But with oil or with boiling oil, there comes nice clean smoke um, or steam. I guess that's what it is. So we're going to actually use that steam to create a whirlwind, which will go all the way up to the top, which you guys will see what's about to happen. I mean, it's pretty cool because we actually need all of this stuff to go down. Oh, you stay away from me. You stay away from me, little man. All right, there we go. See? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that thing just dodged me just due to the fact that, like, I I was, we were in a cutscene. That's awesome. Don't have to encounter that thing. All right, so this part can get a little bit annoying if you don't know what you're doing. But thankfully, I remember this part just because, you know, I was stuck on it for quite some time. What you want to do is you want to actually hit Mario with a hammer right in front of this whirlwind. And that whirlwind will actually just, I guess, turn off all the, uh... The, the lit candles, so whatever mood was set here before it is not set anymore, and I think at this point we are now at the, oh wow, yeah, we are at the end. Um, there's a barrel here. Do I need to do anything with that barrel? I don't remember. I feel like if there's a barrel, we gotta do something with the barrel, but I don't wanna like, waste my time trying to do something with this barrel if there's really nothing to do with the barrel. You know what I'm saying? Don't wanna waste any more barrel time. Alright, so we're gonna hit this, and then something over here will activate, and then we have to just go quick. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. I, I screwed this up. I gotta wait. Okay, so we're gonna hit it again, and I gotta go fast. I don't know how long I'm supposed to hold it. Like, if I hold it for, like, three seconds, and I let go, if it'll give me the same amount of, like, run time as, like, if I hold it for, like, five seconds. See? You can't. You have to, like, hold it for a second and then run. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. All right, let's try that again. It's been a while since I've done something like this, so I might... It might take me a couple of tries to get it all the way through, but... I'm not in any rush or anything. There we go. Go faster, faster! Oh, wow, we did it! See, you, like, barely make it. So here we are, guys. We are about to take on a couple of mini-bosses. And before I do that, I'm actually gonna heal them both up. And I'm actually gonna use my items, um... I guess I'll just use them generously, you know why? Because I'm actually gonna buy a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff when I exit this place. Because these guys are supposed to give us mad money. I believe they give me, like, I want to say, like, 380 coins. Alright, you are the first people to ever climb all this way up here. Cool, you're pretty darn determined. Let me reward you with a little something, okay? Don't just stand there. Have a seat and relax for a bit. Alright. I'm inviting one of my pals over today. They're all good people, but I'm only inviting one today. Who would you like to invite? Dude, I don't know any of these people. Who the heck is Chikolis, oh, 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 Hilna, Huhulia, and Huhulia. That's actually pretty funny. And then Tahina. Tahina. Oh my god, these names all sound so ratchet. Alright, we're gonna pick the most ratchet name of all these four. I think I'm gonna go with Huhulia. Hey, yo, what up? It's, it's your girl, Hahulia. Oh, man, you have uh, really good tastes. Hahulia, come here. Introduce yourself. Oh, my lord. I'm Hahulia. Are you done working for the day, then? Please sit back and relax. Well done. Now take good care of our honorable guests. I don't think they're going to take care of us. I think they're trying to kill us. There we go. So we're going to hit uh, Jajora. This this guy's name is Jajora. We're going to hit his wand out of his hand. And then we're just going to focus down uh, Huhulia right here. Um, the thing is, these guys are actually pretty easy. Uh, especially Jajora. Jajora only has like 50 HP. And then I think Huhulia has like, uh, I want to say 500. So I mean, in just a couple of turns, we should be able to take them out. If I do land these bros moves perfectly, which I'm not really doing. I skipped Mario's attack. And Mario's attack is like... Oh, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Did she just switch her freaking face? That's not normal. Something's wrong with this person. 52? All right. 
I guess I'm not dealing as much damage as I thought I would have, but when I level up, like I said, I will focus down on just giving them H or uh, POW attacks just because, you know, I don't know. To me, I feel like it's the most important thing at this point in the game. I mean, we're like at the end of the game now, and I want to make sure that they're like extremely high. Uh, oh, God, she kissed me. Now Luigi's sick. He has the cooties. Cooties actually do exist. Or maybe, he, yeah, I don't even want to say that just because I'm trying to keep things PG right now. All right, we're going to just keep going. Jajora is still looking for his staff, so by the time he gets back here, her friend will be dead. All right, come attack me. Ugh, stay away from me, woman. I don't want no goddamn cooties. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's back. What's up, Jajora? We're going to attack with Julia. I think this is it. This, this might be her deathbed right now. Oh, you never touched a lady without her permission. All right, so he's going to do something crazy right now. Oh. You don't want to get stuck in this. Otherwise, you will be screwed. And he actually does heal her up a little bit, which is, uh, I guess, all right for for us. No, I got the cooties, too. Oh, thank God. I guess Mario got the cootie vaccine. She's going for Luigi again. Oh, man, Luigi really likes that. Really, Luigi really wants some of that. All right, we're going to we're going to attack her again. 59. Oh, you're going to you're going to try to attack me again, brother. OK, these guys. Oh, yeah, proving them a little bit to be... They're proving to be harder than I actually anticipated them, but once we knock out Jajora's staff, uh, he won't be able to heal her anymore. Julia, and then we'll be able to kill her with ease. God, that mustache guy, does he like me? Of course he does. Now he will. Who's she, she, uh, who's she talking about? We're, there's two mustache guys. Are you talking about Luigi because his face is red and pink? Pinkish, reddish? I don't know. He might really like you. Probably not, though. Luigi's into Daisy brunettes and whatnot wow we get four attack turns in a row this is awesome i'll take it i'm not gonna complain about this and there you go she's dead so now jajora will come back i believe and either he will flee or we will kill him what did you jerks do to my friend how dare you you are so uncool oh so he just flees i guess you could just kill him i don't know why i didn't attack him uh clearly i didn't gain the coins that i thought i would have gotten by killing him or maybe i did i really don't even know how many coins i had but as you can see, Mario did level up, in fact, and I'm going to go ahead and increase his POW. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited, you know, to make my way back to Bean Bean Castle just because I want to spend this money that I earned. You know, when we first entered here, we had no money, but now we have a lot of money. And playtime's over for the day. Over, 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 over. Try saying that like 10 times really fast. It's not even going to sound like a word anymore. Over. Jerks. Shut up, you weeb. Did I get healed? I did get healed. Not even bad. That's awesome. All right, where am I? Oh, I'm supposed to go. Uh, did he? Where did he run off? Oh, I see. I didn't even notice that this torch was unlit. Maybe that was the uh, the hidden torch and all of the battles that we saw that was unlit. That's probably it, man. Oh nope, Mario, do do a better job lighting it up, please. Oh, there we go. And then the door will open. And I can finally say, guys, we are done with jokes end. I am very excited and proud to say that. Hey, what's up? It's Fawful. So the Fink Rats come at last. Now it is time when you hand over the Beanstar, you little men. Send the Beanstar up to the top of this pedestal. Don't be hasty. All right, man. Let's let's hand over the Beanstar to my boy Fawful. So it looks like only one of us can go. Sorry, Mario. I'll see you later, bro. If I don't come back, tell Daisy I love her. What's up, man? Send the Beanstar up here. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, I here's the fake bean star. How did you know? How did he know, man? Oh, oh, I am laughing at you. I can see through your pathetic design, you ugly thing. That was a fake bean star. Notice how he's calling us ugly, but yeah, he's literally the colored. Gr he's the green skull. He just looks like a green skull. Now give me the real one. Oh, not my suitcase. Oh, not the bean star. Now they have both Peach and the bean star. You ha! You idiots are stupid. <laughs> Did he just say we're stupid or we're we're idiotics? I don't even know what he was supposed what he tried to say. Um, but let's go ahead and hit save right now. It's not like anything major is about. Well, actually, something major is about to happen. Um, but right now, what we want to do is we're gonna save. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna get Mario in here. Where it, where is where is this thing? Oh, it's right here. 
We're gonna open this, and then we're gonna let Mario in, and then I guess we'll end off the episode, and then we will continue on in the next episode. And the reason why I'm cutting it short is because, you know, there's not really a whole lot left to the game, and I wanna, you know, just kind of split them equally and fairly and not not make them really long, I guess. So right now, Mario and Luigi came up with a diabolical plan where uh, they're gonna either save either the Beanstar or Princess Peach, or maybe even both, but they have a plan, and it's actually a very clever plan. You know, I don't think, wow, 2015, that's, that's kind of cool how it's like exactly on the year we're on right now. Uh, if you're watching this video like five, ten years in the future, well, I recorded this in 2015, so that's why it's, uh, it's special to me. But we're gonna end off the episode here, like I said, and in the next one, we will continue on with this game, and we will hopefully chase down Fawful and Bowletta and obtain both the Beanstar and Princess Peach. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all then. Goodbye. <laughs>